What's up fellow earthlings? Austin with Let It Go Junk Removal here. Today I'm going to be talking to you about solar panels, solar energy, and how much money it's saving me on my personal house. I'll go over some uh, specs and uh, I'll take some better pictures and show you before and afters. I think they honestly look a lot better. I'll explain the whole process of how it went and uh, here we go. By the way guys, don't forget to hit like. The wind is blowing right now and I feel a little uh, light. <laughs> we'll check you soon. What's up fellow earthlings, welcome to my computer. As you can see I'm on Duke Energy here, this is my account, Austin Hires. This is my address, please don't send me anything, unless it's awesome. <laughs> okay, you can see that I have my billing and payment history pulled up on Duke Energy account here. I'm going to go ahead and show you what's going on. So uh, this last month was $86.13. Month before that was $75.37, and $52.75, this is where they start to get much higher, $308.03, $344.56. Okay, so I'm gonna use this one right here as an example um, because this is one of my highest bills or well, is my highest bill here on the screen. Um, but I think I've had like $150 before, believe it or not. So this is 30 days in the month and I'm gonna go back. So I have my solar panel starting like right here in this month. Um, and this one up here, January has 30 days. This is recent and it was only $75.37. So that was for 30 days of power. I, I only had to pay $75.37. And it's been pretty cloudy in January as well, so it wasn't really as sunny as uh as this day down as this month down here. We're just gonna say uh, $345 minus 75 345 minus 75 to make it easy 345 minus 75 equals 270 dollars so 270 dollars is what i saved that month but i have to minus my solar panel um bill which is about i would just say round up to 140 so minus 140 bucks uh so I still saved myself 137 or 130 bucks essentially um, with with a bill that could have been the same amount as the 345 bill. So I just used my highest bill with with another month. Um, so another month that is equal to 30 days. So that's I would say that's the fairest way to do it. Um, but this, this, all these numbers vary on how much sun you have and, and how much energy they're soaking up. So I'm going to show you my enlightenment. I'll show you the overview. Uh, my solar panels brought in about 38.56 kilowatt hours today. Um, as you can see, this is February 11th that I'm recording this. I'm going to try to get it up today as well. Uh, let's see here. Peak power, I'm really not sure what that is. If somebody can explain to me in like layman's terms what peak power is, and if that's good or bad right there, 8.30. Um, and then my latest power, I'm really not sure what latest power means as well, but 2.21. If anybody knows exactly what that is and I can explain it in layman's terms, because I am not very scientific, I'm a very fast learner though, just comment down below and um, Give me some information. I love learning. I hope this is helping people out. Um, anything that I can do to show what solar energy really does. This is like showing your, your per day. 
Don't forget to hit the like button today. You can kick it, punch it, lick it, smack it, or smash it. Whichever one you like, just hit the like button. It really helps me out. I do appreciate it. This sheet is showing, obviously, the days. It shows the month and then the days, and it shows which days uh, soaked up the most light. So you can see that the darker ones, I believe, soaked up more than the lighter ones. So seven, and these are, oh no. So the lighter ones is when it was really bright out. This is when it was like dark outside. You're getting low kilowatt hours produced. And the lighter colored ones, you're getting like maximum kilowatt hours produced. And uh, the lighter they are, the, the, the more kilowatt hours were produced on that day. So pretty cool. I love this, how it, how it shows it. And it also shows it hourly. So this is the hourly, basically you can see the, the pattern here. Um, when, when obviously it's a dark day, boom, you have almost like a dark strip through there. You can see there's definitely a pattern here. And a uh, sunnier day is just basically bright all the way through. Um, it's pretty awesome. I love to see this is watts per hours produced. So by 12 p.m. midday, you have, uh, let's see, 12 p.m. You have 1,890 watts, watt hours produced, which is pretty amazing. All right, so this right here is um, showing how much per day. It, it's it's pretty cool. It just shows you the the site energy production. So every day it'll show you what the array brought you um, total. I like that a lot. So you can run reports and see everything straight from this website. So you can see, let's go here, one month, one month uh, total. This is all the days in the month. And 30 days basically, 1,046 kilowatts produced. And I have Google pulled up here. According to Google and according to electricchoice.com, the average U.S. residential customer uses approximately 909 kilowatt per month of energy, around 10,909 kilowatts per year. So, looks like I'm doing pretty good about producing. Maybe I can um, implement some new windows in my house. I know my windows are older, so that's probably affecting uh, leakage of AC, which is making the AC run longer. And uh, I need to check into a few other things. I know I have my RV on the side of the house. It has a 30 amp breaker on itself, so that's probably a lot of the energy. Enlighten is an app used, I believe, for majority of uh, solar panels that are installed. So a lot of people have this and probably are familiar with it. Uh, I'm still getting used to it and figuring it out. And I mean, there's not really much to figure out, but I don't play with it much either. Um, I just, just I, I see the benefits. I'm definitely saving money per month. Uh, sometimes, as you can see, in some cases, maybe I'm equaling out paying the same amount I would. I have payments on my solar panels, and the the solar panel payment is 140 per month, just rounded up everything. I have 37 panels on my roof, so $140 a month divided by 37 panels equals so I'm paying three dollars and 78 cents per panel uh, per month so um, that to me doesn't sound too bad at all honestly three dollars and 78 cents per panel per month that's what I'm paying so um, the panels save me money majority of the months uh, I can't wait to get into the summer months where it's more sun shining on them and and I'll, I'll maximize my kilowatt hours at that point and I'll do another video showing uh, like the max sun how much it's gonna create for me and maybe it'll even zero my bill out I love to see the day that I zero my bill out and even make a you know a couple of dollars off the electric company um, but like I was saying the payment plan that I'm doing is is kind of ridiculous I wish I could have paid them off totally but I I couldn't financially at the time I'm still saving money this way the way I see it 
and I plan on paying them off faster than the payment plan calls for. Uh, I would recommend if you have the money just buy the panels outright. Actually I would recommend getting the Tesla solar panels. So this is the Tesla solar glass roof right here. It is pretty awesome looking. I would recommend this to anybody looking to get solar power on their roof and are looking to spend anywhere near $33,000. If you're looking to spend $28,000 I would still say get the $33,950 $33, solar glass roof from Tesla. It looks amazing um, and I believe it'll do a better job just in my opinion. Um, of soaking up sun. You could, they could put it in prime spots where the sun uh, shows the most during the day and uh, get you the most out of your solar panels. So it's not like every single one of these panels uh, is a solar panel. They put them in the, the most direct sun spots uh, strategically and the rest are just for looks. And that's how it's done. You can also get the premium roof plus solar panels I don't work for Tesla, but this is um, the price, and it's a concrete tile roof with solar panels added on for around $43,000. You can enter your address up here to see a price estimate. I love Tesla. I don't own a Tesla yet, but I have ordered or put the down payment on a Tesla Cybertruck because I would love to go all electric with my vehicles in my hauling business um, thank you Elon for that and I hope you guys enjoyed this video check me out hit the like button hit that subscribe button do everything you possibly can to remember the earth mother earth guys let's uh let's put some solar panels up let's pick up that piece of plastic you passed by and uh just looked at it This is for today.